welcome to this week's Steam Culture. Found something really neat we thought you would enjoy. I'm gonna try not to butcher this. The Amager Bach, B-A-K-K-E. I'm probably saying it wrong because it's over in Denmark. It is a combined heat and power station. Now here's the way it works. They're gonna take 400,000 tons of waste a year to the facility and they're gonna use it for fuel and burn it. And from that, with that heat source, they're gonna generate steam. The steam's gonna turn a steam turbine and out of that, a couple things happen. They generate enough electricity for almost 60, almost 70,000 homes, but enough heat, residual heat, to come off there for residential heating of almost 170,000 homes. Pretty cool. All operating at about 99% efficiency, claiming to be the most efficient combined heat and power generating station in the world. That's actually not what makes it the neatest thing in the world. So it's designed to fit into the cityscape, not to stand out like a heat generating station would, but it looks like this. It's got a ski slope on top of it. So yeah, a ski slope on top of a combined heat and power station. Not only that, you see the stack on the side. Every time they get rid of a ton of CO from the environment, that smokestack is going, it's not really a smokestack, it's a steam vent and they're gonna shoot off this circle steam ring. Isn't that cool? So every time a ton of CO is gone, pooh. Steam ring is going to come flying out of the sky. Pretty neat. Wanted to share that with you. Go out and Google it. A M A G E R B A K K E. The Amager Bach. Hope that's right. Um, while you're out there, go Google us because we got stuff for you each and every week. Join me next Friday. See you then.